Okay, and yourself, Ed? Alright, well, my mom. Alright, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. It's okay. I am uh, a Navy brat. My dad was uh, an officer in the Navy Intelligence, and I grew up in Martin, uh, Maryland, and Virginia, and, and I lived for three years in, Cuba, in uh, Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, and then moved to San Diego when I was like eight, and my parents got divorced, so I kind of spent the rest of my childhood there. So, in terms of, uh, I'm going to split this up, it's, it's a bit difficult to, to figure out how to do this, but in terms of like the cultural differences, between the things that led to both of you getting into creating comics or at least being creative. Can you describe um, well, what? Well, quite a few of the things that are the same. You both grew up reading Marvel comics. Yeah. Okay. Um, when I was a kid, um, Marvel started being printed in their 1960 stock in the UK in the early 70s. Um, so I was reading that, which, you know, old Spider Man kind of sports up and currently with whatever was around. Then, so like, um, if you book, long book, um, Hannah Vera, stuff like that, no option, no, no. Yeah, you never, you never read her. I never read her. I had to send him links to stuff books. Yeah, I mean, I've I've it, but I've never seen it. Yeah, I think it was, um, just general comments. A couple of words. Yeah. What about, like, in terms of, sort of, other media? You know, other things that... Oh, you know, actually, no, that TV is full of American. Yeah. I watch a lot of British TV. Did you get a lot of British TV here? Uh, as a kid, so like TBS, like Channel 9 would have, like, uh, they didn't have Doctor Who in San Diego very often. Every now and then they showed Doctor Who. But they showed a lot of, like, old sitcoms <laughs> and for Spaniel and every child. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. First memory of how you're supposed to treat women. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and fast music. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I was always just into British TV. I, I watch, I mean, even now, I just watch kind of British TV. And mm -hmm. you can watch everything now. So. Sure. But I like, you know, people just solving murders in previous time periods all the time. So. So you BBC you know, is a mid made for me. BBC is brilliant. But yeah, like sitcom wise, I, I generally prefer like, British sitcoms and stuff. So. Wow, that's so strange. It's just been to you. Well, I think the best American sitcoms that are going right now are more like a British TV show or something, you know, like Barry or or like the Lana or Game of Thrones. Kind of these shorter seasons. Never mind. Stop talking about TV. No, <laughs> I mean, it's just interesting to know like people from such a distance that are that, that create such cohesive art. You know, mm -hmm. so in any way. I never really think about it. every now and then. You, he wants me to put something in England or something, but then I always just think, well, no, I feel compelled to try to write accents. And the one time I tried to do that was with Brian Talbot, and he just made fun of me. <laughs> right? So that was no good. And I just did, I was like, stop making fun of me, or I'll write another war scene with 400,000 people on it. <laughs> so what I've done is, in terms of the uh, the old. PowerPoint. I've had to split it into two. So even though I'm um, obviously that bit is focusing on Sean, the next one will be on Ed. Please feel free to come backwards and forwards. I don't know how to split backwards and forwards on here. You know.
how I think they thought I was good enough to give it a go. So, so is that the guy that Tom Crane's based on? Yeah, well, only a couple of years. Was it just visually? I didn't realize it wasn't. Yeah, oh well. Um, <laughs> Funny. So I do, I do stories about girls and their, you know, their ponies or ballerinas or Victorian <laughs> orphans, bees and fat mothers. It's all more into sort of school girl, so pop type stuff. Um, all real life stuff. I didn't do any sort of, there's no genre stuff or stuff that was any sci fi or. Um, crime stuff or whatever. It was, it was, well, I had learned all real things. Had a little someone sat on a chair at a table because it looked like they were not going into the space. So I didn't really grow up towards the girls as such. Which is, when I was a kid going to Comic-Con, like in the 70s, I would just hang out at the wherever the artists that I liked were and just sort of stand there and lurk all day long. <laughs> and, but I was a little, I was a, a kid who barely appeared at the table. But I remember watching all these guys you know, or even Jim Shooter, like looking at people's samples and talking about people doing it. It's like, well, you don't have any pages where you, that show people wearing clothes or walking yeah. or stuff. Like, the, the, art, the art advice from all the superhero people was always, well, you have to be able to draw everything. You can't just draw people in costumes jumping around. Like, you have to be able to draw two people sitting and talking for four pages or you're not going to be able to get, make a living as a comic artist. Of course, yeah. So, which is all hard. It's so it's 40, 48 pages. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Was there any equivalent of that sort of girl magazine in the state? Was there anything like that? Here? I mean, maybe like cricket or things like that. I remember when I was like first breaking into comics and then going into my teens and twenties, like school after. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Pushing a book called Cicada, uh, thing that little kid. Yeah. Like, little kid. I'm in the, yeah. But no, I don't. I don't. I'm in the I don't conference right now. In, I mean, I grew up mostly reading like Marvel and DC stuff and started reading like underground and independent comics and alternative comics as a teenager in high school. But there was, you know, romance books or westerns or like. In the 50s. Oh, right. Right. Yeah, when I was a little kid, there was, yeah, into the 70s, there was like, DC would publish like one or two romance books or Marvel. Mm -hmm. But they didn't, they weren't like things you really saw ever. You know, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You'd see like Marvel Comics or something like that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.